Hi Anna, I just wanted to do this video um, that hopefully you'll share on your channel because um, it struck me. I was in the gym this morning and we now have to wear masks in the gym but of course I refuse to wear a mask and it just struck me that nobody came up to me, nobody asked me about where my mask was, the instructors didn't ask me about masks, even some of the instructors were wearing a mask. And it just struck me that, you know, so many people are just playing this game um, that they know there's something wrong with it, but they just haven't got the courage to be able to do something about it or maybe feel helpless to know what they can do. And I started thinking about your channel and everything that you're trying to achieve and what an awesome job you're actually doing, trying to create a space to give a platform for people to just think independently and look at their own facts. So I wanted to do this quick video just to um, really get across to the people who are following you, who do know that there's something not quite right, just to sort of like give them some support and some help because it can be a pretty lonely place. You know, I've been awake for some years and I can often feel quite isolated. Luckily, I've got a few people around me that are um, equally as awake or even more awake than I am, which when I'm having a bit of a wobble, I'll, I'll reach out to them. So I've just got sort of like six or seven points here that I thought might help your listeners, viewers, um, to, you know, to not lose hope and to um, keep up the fight, really. So um, number one, really, is that we are the future, you know, so many people out there are just watching the the news on the you know on the tv and bless them they actually believe that this is the truth they actually think that whatever is being pumped out from the government is the truth so they're in this absolute ignorance um and bless them they're absolutely scared and when people are scared they look to an authority um to, to take charge and be the leader so they've got this trust as we know in, in this in this perceived authority which which <laughs> is not right. Um, so this is about us as individuals, the people that are awake and the people that are not so awake, about becoming our own authority and having self-agency, which basically means we make the decisions that are right for us. Um, so I believe that, you know, every one of your viewers um, has this such critical role to be this leader for people around them. Yet, unfortunately, we're battling with our own fears and then add the fear of the people that we're trying to support and help. And we can just all end up in, you know, this big bag of, of fear. And I run a Facebook group um, and I just happened to put, I've got about 1600 women in it locally. And I just happened to put a post in it um, that I was going to a peaceful protest about it while what's happening um, where I live on Saturday. And, you know, the, the fear that came back at me, you know, I was called right wing. I was called bonkers. Uh, and it just absolutely made me smile because I thought, yes, because you're watching the news. So somebody like me will be. A little bit out there for you so you know we have to keep our courage and we have to move forward with this so um, my second tip is to make sure that you're informed so I know a lot of people who, who believe that there is something not quite right with this but are wearing masks so what I did was I went on the gov.uk site and this is for obviously if you're in the UK I went on the gov.uk site and I printed off um, the rules for not having to wear a mask and basically loud and clear on there it says you do not have to wear a mask if you if it gives you distress well I'm sorry it gives me distress so that is my reason you don't have to have a card that says um, you know that, that you're exempt you don't have to quote the Equality Act you can just say I'm exempt and just either take a screenshot of the government website that says those rulings or just have a copy printed out in your handbag and show these people. And I can totally see what's happening around here. All the small businesses are being bombarded by these COVID marshals and putting the fear of God up them that people must wear masks, you know, don't let them in unless it's sanitised. We're going to give you £10,000 fines. You know, I know, if, I know a lady that owns a boutique and she's petrified because she said, because I walked in yesterday and I said, oh, you know me, I'm not wearing a mask. And she said, I've got to wear a mask, Rachel. Otherwise, if somebody reports me, I get fined £10,000. So, you know, 
bless them they're absolutely under all this pressure so my second tip was know your facts keep it on you you know have the government website be aware that it's not law that it is a guideline and if you have the knowledge knowledge gives you power so then you're confident enough to challenge whatever's coming on whatever you're getting from the other people so I took my 15 year old to um, a place called Rock City in Hull and bless the guy there was absolutely like um, you need a mask and I'm like no I don't and I just left it at that and he was like yes you do he said well where's your card and I said don't have to have a card if you want to check the gov.uk website I don't have to have a card I'm exempt so he said right okay and then bless him he just kept saying can't you just put your hoodie over your mouth no exempt and my 15 year old was there and afterwards he said gosh mommy was really trying to get you to do it I said yeah because he knows that if somebody reports him bless him he's going to get this cracking fine so he's going to do anything to try and avoid the fine so you know just stand in your power just be brave know the facts know the rules you know if you're getting some abuse from somebody just ask to speak to the manager you know, this is about us not letting everybody else down and not letting ourselves down and standing in our own integrity, our own power and knowing that we are trying to protect future generations here. So that's my second tip. Um, yeah, I had a wonderful experience at the early part of the week because somebody reached out to me after seeing me on this channel before who lives locally who just haven't seen me in the street and said, oh, wow, you was on Anna's channel. Um, you know, it's so good to sort of like hear what you said and to know that you're local. So I said, hey, let's meet for a coffee. So we had this wonderful hour chatting about everything and chatting about, you know, um, how some people are not seeing it and what can we do. And it was just so wonderful just to be around somebody who actually has done the research, you know, is carrying out critical thinking um, so you know reach out to others if you see others without a mask um, you know reach out to them and I know there's some great groups on Facebook that I'm involved with and when I have a wobble and I get a little bit overwhelmed with it all I just go into this Facebook group and I see that yeah you know keep going keep keep carrying on so you know I hate to if I'm preaching to the converted and you guys are doing this already then fantastic but um, you know just trying to give some tips really to sort of like help us all keep strong um okay so um my next point is about overcoming your fears so you know of course when we're being challenged by waiters or waitresses or shop owners or curving marshals or whatever obviously um it triggers fear in us it's understandable so you know just be aware that it's probably a fear of criticism a fear of conflict a fear of disapproval a fear of not being liked all these fears get triggered in us but it's okay to have those fears and that's where the courage comes in so the courage comes in by standing in your power being calm no need to be arsey because if you get arsey that's going to trigger their fear they're going to get even arsier and you're going to end up in this like banging of heads so just keep Keep calm when I've had people usually other people in shops say to me where's your mask I just say I'm exempt but thank you so much for caring about my well-being they don't know what to say with that so you know have compassion for these people they're in fear that's why they're getting angry that's why they're getting attacking they're just in fear because they actually believe that there is this like pandemic around so they're just scared so you know just try and keep calm have compassion for them and just know that whatever fears that you've got that are being triggered if you feel a bit on edge if somebody's challenging you that's okay once you've challenged one person back and you see that it's okay challenge another person back you'll see it's okay and you just get used to being challenged so my 15 year old has seen me be challenged all the time when he's with me and at first he was really scared. And I'm like, no, we've got a right, Luke. Go research the Equality Act 2020 and you'll see there that, you know, we, we have got rights here. Um, we don't even need to quote the Equality Act because look, it's on the list. It causes us distress, so we don't even have to do it. And in the car the other day, he'd been out um, previous day with his friend to a shop and he said that they hadn't been asked about why they hadn't got masks on. But then he said to me, but mum, what is it I need to say? What is the quote that I need to say back to them if they do? And that absolutely lifts my heart because I think, yeah, I'm creating here 
the new generation that is not going to be dictated to, that is not going to live in a tyranny, that is going to critically think, that is going to challenge back. So, you know, let's empower these young people to be polite, to be respectful, but also to say, no, it's not happening. Um, so that was my next point, teach young people um, to do it. Um, don't be afraid to connect to people, I've talked about that. Um, yeah, and just sort of like, you know, I went into um, the boutique the other day and this friend of mine who owns it said, you know, I can't wait for the vaccine to come. And I looked at her and I was like, oh my God, you are kidding me, aren't you? And she was like, no, why? And I was like, do you know what's in that vaccine or potentially what might be in that vaccine? Do you know how much it's been tested or how much it hasn't been tested? Just think about the logic. How can they introduce a vaccine and have it tested and prove that it's safe? And you could tell she'd not even thought about that because of course she's just focusing on the solution to this problem that, that she thinks there is. So, you know, just really calmly, I just went, no way I'm having a vaccine. No way, no way I'd let my son have a vaccine, knowing that she has two 14 year olds. And I was just like, you just want to maybe research and check what's in that vaccine. So I wasn't saying, look, this is the truth. All I was saying was the research I've done this is what I've come to the conclusion of. You know, I've even got clients that are in the NHS that are saying, no way, I'm going to take a vaccine. So, you know, just don't be afraid just to put it out there. And I know loads of you will be doing that. Um, but again, this is a test of your courage. This is a test of you knowing your truth and standing by your truth and knowing that you've got a right to speak your truth. So I just wanted to sort of like help help you guys out there. My I have two businesses and one of them is I recruit instructors for a book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anywhere. Um, and you know, just have a look at that book because it talks about fears, it talks about being assertive, it talks about standing in your power. It was by a lady called Susan Jeffers, um, you know, and, and just maybe order it and have a read of it. And you'll see that everything comes down to fear. And what we know is the world out there is trying to pump everybody with fear. And some people are sadly um, buying into the fear, but other people like us and your listeners and your viewers, Anna, um, and knowing that they're not going to be beaten by, by this fear. So that's all I wanted to say. So I hope that's given people um, a few tips. And, you know, just keep going. We will win this. We will get there. And even if we don't, it, no, it means that we still know the truth. Yep. You know, we stood in our truth. And when whatever happens... Whatever happens in the future, I know that I'll be able to turn around and say, yep, I knew there was something not quite right in that. And I stood in my power and I stood in my truth. And I'm also teaching my son to, to do that, to critically think, to discern and, you know, make his own decisions. And quite interesting, I don't know if any of you other viewers have got this, Anna, is um, I'm divorced and my ex-husband is a real fear bunny, so he keeps bringing masks around for my son. And yesterday he turned up with like a cloth one for him, like a bandana one for him. Um, and even a week ago, my son did put a mask on to go out for tea with his dad. But even yesterday he was like, what's he brought me this for? I'm not wearing a mask. And I just thought, wow, that shows the shift in a week of my son coming out with me, seeing me challenge it, seeing me talking to him about the facts and the stats and getting into a point where I saying, no, I'm not buying into it either. So if you have got, you know, if you are from a split family and, you know, you have got a fear monster on the other half, if you like, um, again, just keep calm, just keep in your truth, just direct them to the, to the right place. The last thing we want is kids with fear, because if we have kids with fear, we're creating a generation of fear, of, of even more fear. So that is really important. So I hope this has been insightful for some of your listeners and thank you for sharing it, Anna.